One of the most colorful times of history is the association between James Walsh and the Lakota chief Sitting Bull. The Ford outside swift current that bears his name has a colorful history, including Sitting Bull. The requirements to be a young recruit in 1878 were that you had to be between the ages of 18 and 40 years old. You had to be male. You had to be able to read and write English or French. You had to be in good physical condition, and you had to be of strong moral character. And most importantly, you had to be able to ride a horse. The fort that you see was the Remount Ranch for 25 years. Now, the Remount Ranch is where they raised and bred the big, beautiful black horses that they used for the RCMP. And for 25 years, all of the horses for the RCMP would come from right here at Fort Walsh. About 5,000 Lakota Sioux and Sitting Bull went up to Wood Mountain. They stayed at Wood Mountain for about four years, but before all of this happened, or before they stayed here, the Terry Commission happened. And it was the U.S. military offering the terms of surrender to Sitting Bull and the Lakota Sioux. Before Sitting Bull came into Fort Walsh, he shook hands with each and every member of the Northwest Mounted Police that were here. Sitting Bull, he said, for 64 years, you have kept and treated my people bad. The Lakota Sioux fought against the United States on the side of Great Britain. So Sitting Bull felt that he had every right, of course, to come up into Canada and ask for refugee status. James Mora Walsh said, you can stay in Canada, no food, no provisions, and most importantly, if you do make any war trips down to the United States, you're not welcome back in this country. The respected chief of the Lakota Sioux held true to his word, and four years later, for the benefit of his people, he surrendered in Fort Buford, North Dakota. He was recognized as one of the world's most respected leaders. So from a tourism perspective, uh, Saskatchewan is a jewel, really. A lot of people think of us as just green and, uh, you know, green bins and that type of thing. But, you know, you have wonderful fishing, golf, uh, hunting, and, you know, the casinos are, you know, located close to some world-class golf courses. You just have to come here and, and see for yourself. 